The second generation Honda Ridgeline has a lot of happy owners and a few angry ones, and by the time you're finished this video, you'll know seven important tips, insights, and impressions that'll help you find a good one, and answer some important questions like should you buy a used Honda Ridgeline, what common problems do owners report, what do you need to know about that rear tailgate wiring harness, and which of its more serious problems are covered free of charge by recalls. That's all coming up for you, but let's meet this machine first. So this is not the truck I'd be choosing for maximum towing or off-road capability, but for where and how I use a pickup, it is all the truck I need. Over the years, I became a big fan of the Ridgeline's flexible interior and comfortable ride, as well as the way it drove and parked like a smaller machine while backing me up nicely for weekend adventures on the trails. I did wish for a few more horsepower and a tougher feeling ride on very rough trails, but ultimately, I've long found the Ridgeline a machine that's handy to have in your life and one that respects your fuel dollars. On size, shoppers upgrading from a first to second generation Ridgeline will find the newer unit to be slightly larger in all dimensions. Fractions of an inch separate the Ridgeline generations on width and height, though the new Ridgeline is just over three inches longer than its predecessor where both wheelbase and overall length are concerned. Key competitors include the Toyota Tacoma, Nissan Frontier, GM Colorado and Canyon, Hyundai Santa Cruz, and Ford Maverick. Of course, there is also that other question, what about a used Ram Eco Diesel? More on that in a bit. Basically, the Honda Ridgeline came just two ways, with front or four-wheel drive. Beyond that, hardware, body styles, and physical capabilities are the same, with trim grades starting at the LX as the entry model, and Sport, EXL, Touring, and Black Edition models climbing the trim grades from modestly equipped to fully loaded. The second-generation Ridgeline underwent its most significant update for model year 2021. Compared to pre-update versions spanning 2017 to 2020, the 2021 Ridgeline got a bold new exterior design with more rugged looks and wheels. On board, the updated display audio system gets a physical volume knob, contrast stitching becomes standard, and new accents are applied throughout. Standard V6 power, four-wheel drive, and a 5,000-pound towing capacity gave shoppers a taste of pickup capability, while the Ridgeline's innovative bed and flexible interior helped maintain the versatility they'd come to expect. Under the hood, the second-generation Ridgeline ran a 3.5-liter V6 and six-speed automatic transmission as the sole powertrain team, with 280 horsepower, output climbed by 30 ponies versus the first-generation truck. If you're set on a Ridgeline with all-wheel drive, double-check that the unit you're considering has it equipped since the Ridgeline was offered in a front-wheel drive configuration. There are a few very important things to be on the lookout for before you buy a used Ridgeline, starting with soggy carpets. Some owners have reported water leaks that leave them with a musty-smelling, damp cabin. Water leaks can come from a variety of sources, including a poorly sealed seam in the frame, the sunroof and its drainage system, bad window seals, and the air conditioner. To protect yourself, approach any used Ridgeline assuming that it has a water leak issue until proven otherwise. Check the cabin for soggy carpeting, especially near the outer edges and corners of the floor, and beside the door openings. Use your nose to sniff for signs of mold or rust. At any sign of water leakage, you're likely best to move to another unit. Water leaks can cause fairly serious problems, and they're rarely a good time to fix. Next up is transmission problems. On your test drive, quiet the Ridgeline's cabin and focus on the transmission's operation. A healthy transmission will shift gears smoothly and quietly at light throttle, and quickly and precisely at full throttle. Downshifts should be imperceptible. For an important test, slow the Ridgeline quickly from about 70 km an hour to about 10 km an hour, but release the brakes just before stopping and apply heavy throttle instead. For this test, you're pretending that you're about to stop for a red light that turns green just before your vehicle comes to rest. This test can coax a slam or a lurch from troubled transmissions. To protect yourself from potential transmission trouble, accelerate fluid change intervals, seek out a regularly serviced Ridgeline, and opt for extended warranty coverage. Though most owners did not report transmission problems, test driving shoppers are advised to be on the lookout, as trouble can have serious causes. Dealers may perform fluid changes, software updates, or even transmission replacements in some cases as a fix. Connectivity Issues all second-generation Ridgeline models came with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, allowing you to make and receive calls and messages, access navigation and music apps, and use voice assistance. 
These systems are regularly updated with new features and improvements. They are easy to set up, but make sure the truck is running and parked and that you're using a quality, data-capable USB cable. Problems connecting are often the result of using a poor quality, old, incompatible, or damaged USB cable. So a good quality, USB-capable data cable is very important when connecting your phone to your Ridgeline. Now let's cover a very important test, maybe the most important test on your used Ridgeline test drive. You will want to test the backup camera multiple times during your test drive, and if the image fails to display or flickers, proceed with caution. Numerous owners have reported failing backup camera displays as a sign of damage to a wiring harness that connects the tailgate to the truck's body. Over time, this wiring harness can become worn, exposing or even severing the wiring within which can cause very expensive trouble. So check the tailgate wiring harness for signs of damage or wear before you buy, searching YouTube or owner forums for further instructions. Honda issued a recall for 2017 to 2019 model year units, meaning dealers will check and replace affected wiring harnesses on affected units free of charge. Clogged Fuel Injectors The Ridgeline owners community has identified fuel injector failure as a potential issue. Some owners have reported a rough idle, sporadic performance, check engine lights, and hard starting as symptoms. The problem seems to be caused by fuel injector manufacturing or fuel pump manufacturing debris, working its way downstream and clogging one or more fuel injectors. On your test drive, be on the lookout for warning signs in a rough running engine. Noting that Honda released a technical service bulletin to help technicians remedy this problem, which seems to affect 2017 model year units. Honda also extended the warranty on these repairs. Your dealership has the full scoop. Here are the first five things I'd be doing as soon as I bought a used Honda Ridgeline. First, give Honda Canada a call and register as the new owner of your used Ridgeline. This helps ensure that future recall notices will make their way to you in a timely fashion. Remember, recall work is carried out free of charge by your dealership. Second, check to see which, if any, recalls are outstanding by checking out Honda's Canadian Recall website. Third, buy and use a battery trickle charger, making sure to connect it to recondition and maintain the battery whenever you'll be parking the truck for more than a week or two. This can fend off a multitude of problems caused by a weak or dying battery and add years to your battery's life. Number four, have the vehicle oil sprayed by Crown, Rust Check, or some other reputable spray-on corrosion blocking treatment while avoiding wasting any money on upsell electronic rust protection measures. And number five, if equipped with leather seating, have those seating surfaces professionally steam cleaned and protected using an appropriate leather conditioner and protectant and never conventional armor all. All right, so here's the Ram Eco Diesel versus Honda Ridgeline math lesson that I promised. And remember to leave a like if you learned something new in this video and consider subscribing for more content. According to Natural Resources Canada data, driving 100 kilometers in a Honda Ridgeline will use on average about 11.3 liters of gas, a little more in the city and a little less on the highway. Driving 100 kilometers in a Ram Eco Diesel on average will use 10.8 liters of fuel instead. So assuming you drive 20,000 kilometers per year and pay $1.50 for a liter of gas or $1.60 for a liter of diesel where you live, then you're looking at an annual gas bill of $4,200 from the Ridgeline and $4,300 from the Eco Diesel. That's a 2% difference to your monthly fuel bill, something like $8, in exchange for 60% more torque and 84% more towing capacity. It is always nice to have choices.